Helvetia Rocked is a Swiss national association raising awareness about gender inequality in the music industry while supporting, promoting and connecting professional female, inter, non-binary and trans artists. Through its grassroots projects such as producing, DJing, band workshops and songwriting camps, it offers platforms for young people of all levels to discover music and be part of an empowering community. Find out more on our website, helvetziarocked.ch. Sign up for the newsletter and follow us on social media. Musicians in Conversation is sponsored by Suiza, the cooperative society of music authors and publishers in Switzerland. Suiza is celebrating its 100-year anniversary in 2023. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Anderson and I'm a presenter, content creator and DJ. In this episode, I talk with harpist and composer Kitty Fusco backstage at one of her gigs and after her sold out concert in London's Royal Albert Hall. We discussed changing the reputation of the harp. Kitty shares her thoughts on music conservatories and making the harp more accessible to young people. Kitty shares with us two songs and answers an audience question. And remember, if you have a question, simply send a direct message to Helvetia Rocked on Instagram. In the meantime, here's my conversation with Kitty. Hi, this is Kitty Fusco, and you are listening to Helvetia Rock Musicians in Conversation. Hi, Ketty. Thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? Hi, thank you too. I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Well, today is very special because we are backstage at yeah. one of your concerts. This is the first time I've done an interview for Helvetia Rocks Musicians in oh, Conversation wow. backstage. <laughs> cool. So we've got the energy of yes. live performance here. And so just for listeners, in case you hear anything, um, any noise in the background, it's because we are in a working venue. Ketty will be performing tonight. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really happy because I want to play. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I really want to play now. So we will start our interview with the first question I ask everybody, and that is, how did you get started on your musical journey? Um, I started my uh, musical journey when I was uh, very young. I um, I uh, was uh, six year, and uh, I have very hyperactive uh, child. Yes, and my energy is it's too much, so. Uh, one day, uh, a psychology um, suggests to my family for me to um, play an instrument. So uh, one day in holiday with my family, I see the harp and I fall in love. I, I was six years and uh, I said to my mom, I want to play harp. Wow. Yes. And uh, for this moment... Uh, I don't stop to play harp. <laughs> Imagine, that's such a beautiful story. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Because also you don't really associate a hyperactive child with an instrument like yeah. the harp. Yeah, yeah. But w- when you saw the harp, was it in a shop that you saw it or did you see somebody playing it? I was in, in uh, holiday with my family mm. in a place, uh, in, a, um, uh, in a little country in the wow. mountain in uh, Tuscany. Yeah. And uh, there is a show in a public uh, uh, place, and uh, I, I show the harp with a singer. But uh, yes, I fall in love with harp. Yes. Oh, that is wonderful. What did your parents think when you chose the harp? <laughs> my uh, my parents uh, are, for a part, uh, happy because uh, my mom want to I keep calm a little bit keep calm <laughs> but the harp it's very important instrument for the cost and for to search a teacher is not easy and uh, but uh, I really lucky because near my country in Italy uh, there was a teacher mm-hmm. uh, and I start to play with her and uh, two years uh, after uh, I entry in conservatory I go to conservatory I was 11 
Yes, and I started my academy in school music conservatory. Wow, when you were 11 years old. Yes, in Italy it's different. Uh, you can uh, go to conservatory very young. Mm-hmm. And uh, I degree in ARP uh, at 20 years. And uh, yes, when I come in Swiss, uh, I, um, I do another degree mm-hmm. in uh, Lugano and my second degree in ARP. Yes, yeah. I read that you, you describe yourself as a harp fanatic, <laughs> right? So what are some things that we should know about the harp? The most beautiful things about harp is the, um, uh, you, when I play the harp, I put my harp in my, I don't know in English, this. In, in, in your heart, in your chest? Yes, uh, yes, mm. in my chest. And uh, I feel the vibration of mm. these instruments and uh, with my... Um, and I can um, um, hug the harp. Yes. <laughs> yes. And this is very important because uh, I'm in symbiosis with my instrument, uh, with my body, with my soul. And uh, I don't know if uh, the people that see me if feel that. Yeah, I think so. When people <laughs> watch you on stage, they can see that you are part of the instrument as yeah. well. Yeah. It's a part uh, of me, the harp. Yeah. It's me and the harp, it's one. one I love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> um, what should people consider when they're choosing the harp as an instrument? When, if, if there's a young person, maybe somebody who's like you, uh, what are some of the things they should think about before choosing the harp? Um, I think uh, in this... Uh, moment period historic period the important thing is uh, you don't mean the harp like ancient instrument uh, mm. because uh, i think uh, the harp uh, it's uh, the most uh, uh, the first instrument to invented in the world yeah but now if you want to play harp uh, you i think uh, you need a different attitude because it's very, very difficult instruments. Use uh, um, left hand, right hand, left uh, leg and uh, right leg. (laughs) And yes, it's very difficult. And uh, uh, you must change attitude and uh, see the harp like an opportunity Mm -hmm. for to research, for research new sonority or I don't know, but uh, you can take the harp now and you play the harp in a new method yeah uh, yes yeah there's a lot of opportunity to to explore the harp yeah. in a new way yeah absolutely right yes do you think is it necessary in your opinion to learn the acoustic harp first before going on to an electronic harp uh, it's two different ways. Two different ways. Yes, yeah. because uh, I think uh, uh, for me, uh, I know the harp uh, in all uh, parts. I know classical harp, classical mm-hmm. repertory. Um, I study very time the classical harp. And with electric harp, for me, it's very easy. The ar- electric harp, it's more easy. It's little. Uh, there aren't, uh, they're, they're not used the uh, legs. And uh, yes, but uh, I think you can start with electric harp. Uh, it's a different. I think uh, I like uh, to to know all part of the instruments, mm. and I like to study classical harp before, and then okay, now I can uh, play electric yeah, harp, yeah. and uh, I have my new journey, musical journey. But you can start uh, with only electric carp if yeah, you want. Yeah, I always have in my brain, I always think that it's very good to learn the rules and learn the history and the rules before you, you rip it up and you do something else, you know? Yeah. And I feel like you have, I mean, you studied at the Conservatorio della Suizera <laughs> Italiana. <laughs> sì. How do I say that? Conservatorio della de Svizzera Italiana. Right. Ah, it was that good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, just, so going back to your studies, 
when you were there, how do you or how do people make the most of their time and resources being in a kind of a classical music school? Um, I think uh, it's a very mm, good question because uh, uh, when I study in conservatory, I'm happy, but uh, I'm not happy now because uh, it's a very closed ambient mm. and uh, um, the conservatory don't upset the new attitude or don't upset the yes the research or i don't know you study the bc stop you must to study the bc with uh, this rule regole yeah, with this rules. rule mm. and uh, yes and i i suffered because uh, i want to interpret uh, a song with a different mood mm. because uh, i don't know the bc the bc it's that, that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i want to interpret uh, the i don't know danze sacre e profane di the bc with mm. my my mood yes and no in conservatory you can't no because the bc no the rule is this yes but he is that <laughs> yeah i'm here and i want to play like this and it's uh, yes for me it's a problem the conservatory i don't know mm. it's okay but uh, i hope uh, the mentality it's more open in the future right <laughs> yeah i'm trying to get an understanding of your personality through your experiences the fact that you pushed you know the fact that you you didn't just accept the rules for the harp and say okay you know you followed your heart or you followed your instincts to investigate and to um research this instrument <laughs> yeah. what does what is it in your personality that pushes you to do that for i'm for the first time i really 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 curious i am very curious girl <laughs> and uh uh, I um, I feel crazy if I don't uh, uh, research uh, all think mm. what I want. And with the harp, uh, I'm really curious to know why this part is this, why this part is this, why um, I don't know. But uh, mm, for me, it's important uh, to satisfact my curiosity. Mm. And uh, I don't know because I don't know the Neanderthal woman who, <laughs> who played the harp. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, I want to, uh, yes, I want to know the harp in this period, yeah. historical period, with my curiosity. <laughs> Absolutely. And <laughs> yeah. you are leading the way of changing the reputation yeah. of the harp. It's quite a bit of pressure, is it? Do you think, is it pressure? Mm, no, no, because uh, I'm free mm. and uh, you can don't like my vision or you can say, bah, what uh, she do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm okay because uh, it's because my... I'm, I'm wondering, what is there like a harp community? Is <laughs> yeah. there like people who are like, no, the harp should be <laughs> yeah. like this. And, do you know what I mean? Are you pissing them off? Do, do they don't like Cathy Fusco? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a... See, all harpists, I think, hate me. <laughs> a big part of a pa harpist. <laughs> yes, no, ma when I go to conservatory, I'm really a radically harpist, but uh, I change my mind one mm. day a day no i don't want to continue with this uh, mind and uh, yes but i think uh, uh, with all the changement there is we need time very time mm. and i think in one hundred year it's okay i think uh, there i can change the um, um, ideal of the harp but now i don't expect you understand me mm. Did you feel like you needed permission to approach the harp in a different way? Even with making different sounds, did you feel that you might be disrespecting the harp in some way or hurting the harp? I, I, you know, you, you, you sometimes hit it or, and it's an expensive instrument. That, you know, the first time you, yeah. you hit a harp, did you think, <laughs> oh shit, that's a thousand euros. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, how, how did you give yourself permission to experiment? I, I have uh, seven ARP and all my seven ARP are broken and <laughs> my, my heart, it's broken too, but uh, uh, it's necessary. Yeah. Because uh, if I want to experiment it, I, it's important to um, strike the harp and uh, yes, and it's a very expensive instrument, right? And my mother ate me because uh, she paid the harp for me yeah, yeah. when I was young. Well, now, no, <laughs> now I pay the harp. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but uh, no, it's uh, necessary for yeah. the um, uh, research and uh, for creating a new sonority. Uh, the harp, uh, I can't play the harp like classical harp. It's uh, not possible. Mm. I must to change. And uh, if I need to play with, uh, I don't know, with metal, uh, I play with metal. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. If you're involved in music as a hobby, profession or both, sign up for free on the Helvetia Rocked Music Directory. It's a platform for women, non-binary, trans and intersex people in the Swiss music industry. For singers, instrumentalists, bookers, managers, sound engineers, photographers and many more of all levels. It's about visibility. It's about community. It's about empowerment. We invite all of you to participate in this project. For further information, go to musicdirectory.ch. You, um, I'm sure you are inspiring, not just future harpists, but I think anyone maybe with like a classical background or a classical instrument to approach it in a different way. But was there anybody who inspired you to approach music in a different way? Yeah, I have inspiration. Uh, n not more for the harpist because I don't know very harpist. I, I know the harpist like in Swiss, mm. uh, very cool harpist uh, who try a different weight like uh, Julie Champil, Linda Vogel and uh, uh, yes, I like uh, these girls but uh, my inspiration is for, uh, it's for another attitude and uh, I don't know, when I start to play um, my composition I saw the band like Peter Carnell, it's a band from Ticino, and uh, he has uh, a new attitude with the music. Mm. And uh, for me, this is my inspiration. Yes, and uh, uh, believe in a future with the music mm. and uh, believe uh, in a in a changement and perseverance. It's very important because uh, it's difficult uh, for uh, the first time when I uh, try to change the vision of the harp, uh, it's not easy. The people look me bad mm. <laughs> or look me strange. She is crazy. Yes. Okay. No, but uh, I'm, I, I persevere. I persevere with this uh, dream. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you recently played a sold out gig concert <laughs> in my hometown of London, <laughs> yeah. the Royal Albert Hall. Yeah. And actually, funnily enough, I've been there and I saw Joanna Newsom on the ah, harp. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Do you know wow. Joanna Newsom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she plays the harp. And so when I saw that you were at the Royal Albert Hall, I thought, oh my God, that's so amazing. <laughs> what was that like for you? Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, mm. I don't believe because uh, when I... Um, uh, when I was a child, I go to London to play at Royal College for a lessons ah. with my favorite teacher in London. And uh, when I turn my face, I saw Royal Talbert Hall yeah. and uh, I said, my dream is to play there. And when I, <laughs> when I go to London and uh, I go to Royal Talbert Hall to play, I don't believe it's, uh, wow. Well, dream come true. Yeah, yeah, dream come true. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, wow. wow. Well, um, I'm so pleased. And it was sold out as yeah. well, no less. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. very impressive. <laughs> um, let us talk about your music. The track that you will share with us is uh, Starless. Can you tell us how you uh, came up with Starless? Starless, uh, uh, it's uh, a total destructuration of the harp. 
and uh, with uh, with starless i imagine my uh, before my death mm-hmm. and uh, i saw uh, i saw um, a word with uh, not nature with uh, uh, fire and uh, i saw the uh, the the new music uh, catastrophic music uh, like uh, catastrophic harp uh, you see the harp and you you think uh, oh the angelic instrument no with starless uh, you see the harp and you think uh, the harp tell about the death mm. and uh, yes i want to uh, use the um, comparison to the word the destruction word and uh, the death of the world and the death of the harp uh, your perception of the harp let's listen to starless <sighs> Tell us about uh, your harp sound research and specifically what made you want to go in this direction of of not per se just uh, performing and 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 of um, composing but doing sound research and making sounds from the harp. Uh, yes, I um, one day I decide to split the harp and I take the um, the part. Uh, the structural part uh, like uh, wood like uh, um, the material of the string Mm -hmm. and like metal the mechanical part of the harp and uh, with this separated part uh, I search uh, the harp sound it's a it's the same the harp but it's a different (laughs) harp because you see the harp in different uh, part and uh, the composite harp and uh, I use, uh, I don't know, like uh, um, 
violin bow for example for because the harp haven't a long uh, so, uh, sonority you pick the harp and the sound uh, death and i would like uh, with this uh, bow violin uh, to uh, use a long sound with harp for example and uh, i use uh, or the scotch in oh, the string yeah oh, right, yes and uh, it's uh, absurd because i uh, i found the sound like a uh, bell bells yes mm. uh, yeah so and i i scared in the uh, box uh, resonance ah and uh, i <laughs> you feel the son- the reverber right. and uh, yeah so you shouted you screamed inside yeah. the box wow yeah and uh, I use uh, all sound yeah. with the harp. It's the harp, but it's a different harp. Absolutely. <laughs> and you're recording these sounds and you're building a library. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In this uh, library, there is uh, 400 uh, sounds. And uh, yes, you can listen in, in the internet and uh, you, you can create the uh, new music with the part of the harp. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Yeah. So. People like who do you expect to use this? Can producers use this? Is it or is it more uh, people making maybe like sound design for yeah. art pieces? It's for all in, because uh, yes, for producer or for uh, documentary. I don't know. You can use the sound mm. for what do you want? Yeah, yeah. I listen to some of the sounds and they do. I mean, you. you I think you mentioned somewhere about like horror. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a lot Absolutely. of it that does sound very <laughs> yeah. kind of that you'd expect to hear from maybe a horror film soundtrack yeah. that sort of thing quite quite dark quite menacing sounds it's super interesting like you said before usually people's perception of the harp is this sort of angelic like whoop, whoop. yeah <laughs> and there you are Katie's like <laughs> yeah. I love it I absolutely love it it's so punk rock as well that's what I really absolutely love about what you do <laughs> thank um, you are you currently are you designing a new harp can you tell us about that Yes, it's my uh, my dream to uh, design a new harp. I have just a draft mm-hmm. for the yes for the new my idea of the harp, and I would like so much uh, the people. Uh, I don't know uh, in this age, I uh, twenty five age or fourteen age, said okay, I want to play harp, mm-hmm. and I can because it's not difficult like classical harp because uh, electric harp it's an hybrid for me now because right. uh, it's uh, difficult for a uh, non-musician mm-hmm. but it's uh, easy for a musician right and uh, i would like to create a new harp easy for uh, for all you can uh, you want to play harp you can play harp yeah. like guitar i don't know you yeah, can yeah i play guitar ah, so, so, so i can yeah. play <laughs> it's just the count. It's just the rhythms, though, with the harp, like the counter rhythms and things. Yeah, but th- that is what blows my mind. Yeah, like it's like tapping your head and rubbing your <laughs> yeah. tummy at the same time. It's another kind of brain. But I love watching the harp. Maybe you can show me one day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that. I love the kind of mission to make it more accessible to anybody especially because sometimes like you said it's not cheap it's quite expensive instrument and it's it's an investment yes uh, it's uh, this is the problem because uh, now for uh, to buy an harp you spend minimum minimum for uh, 40 four zero 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 forty thousand four thousand four hundred quattro mila Quattro mil, four thousand. Yes, and that's like entry level, a beginner's. Harp? Yes, yes, wow. yes. Or electric harp, mm. it's uh, six, six, six thousand. thousand. Yes, it's uh, too much mm. because mm. Uh, I don't know. But I would like to play harp. If I don't play harp, but uh, yeah, for the beginning, it's um, uh, 
uh, I, I would like to approach with harp to to know if I like the instrument. Yeah. And if you spend more money, I don't know. It's uh, I think it's not the right way. Mm, it's true. It's true. Okay, we're going to take this time to listen to our audience question. Uh, it's from at Shara Sway. The question is. As a newcomer, when you're on your way, how can you find these people, like a manager or someone who's helping you to, um, like, do all that stuff to touring or um, uh, to make gigs or bookers? Yes, that's my question. So how do you find, when you started, how did you find these people to help you book concerts or ah, tour yeah. or managers? What did you do? What advice yes. can you give? Um, okay, um, I'm a little bit lucky because uh, I started to play with, uh, with a band in Ticino and uh, they introduced me in this world. And uh, I'm very grateful to to this band, Peter Carnell. Mm. So with this band, uh, he um, presents me the promoter, he present me this world. Uh, he teaching me to prepare the dossier, mm. the post in Instagram. And uh, now in effect, I I'm really bravo like uh, Peter Carnell. <laughs> and now I teach uh, to him. <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> You're his teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yes, I'm really grateful because uh, it's important, uh, I think, uh, for uh, the other band, if you start uh, and if you have um, uh, support, mm. you can, uh, yes, you can uh, go more fast. Mm. So do you think it's important for people to try to find other musicians? The community, yes. The community. the community is really important mm. because uh, from, I don't know, with artists, uh, it's all jealous and uh, he don't help. Uh, we don't help the artist. No, I don't help you. I want to my career and stop. For me, uh, no. If, uh, I don't know, one guy come to me to ask a suggestion, mm -hmm. I'm really happy to help uh, mm -hmm. this guy. And it's important. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I think it's good. That's that's really good to, to, for people to find a community, yeah. find other people and maybe share yeah. information and share. Absolutely. And that way they can get more bookings and get more yeah. connections. Yeah. Katie, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Thank you. Thank you too. Um, can you introduce the second song that we'll yes. hear from you? Uh, now you listen my song 2072.
If you want to join the Helvetia Rocked community or find out more, check out the website, sign up for the newsletter and follow us on social media. If you'd like to support Helvetia Rocked, you can also become a member or donate. And if you like what you heard today, please share it with your friends. Helvetia Rocked Musicians in Conversation is a concept by Natalia Anderson in collaboration with Helvetia Rocked. It's presented and produced by Natalia Anderson. Music is by Jackie Brucher and The Jackets. <laughs>